The reason why I applied for a traineeship was to be on the cutting edge of technology and communications. The, that world's constantly evolving and I want to stay on the forefront of it and expand my skills. Carpentry and plastering, once you've learned all the basic skills, it doesn't ver very often it doesn't evolve past that point. Whereas this, it's uh, still physical, what I enjoy, you still get out in the field, you do meet customers and you are the, the face of Telstra and so you have a lot of responsibility on that part. But also, it's back to the technological thing, it's, you're always constantly learning and there's always more to learn and I don't feel like I'm stagnating in one position for the rest of my life. And every day is a new job, every day I go to a different place, different part of Brisbane and that's the part I really enjoy, it doesn't get old. Now I'm out of my traineeship, a typical day, you've got your own laptop, you get your job sent to you, you don't really have a boss to report to, so you start off on your own, pick up your first job and it might be a fault, could be an install, and uh, from there it can go anywhere. The job can be really easy, it can go to a great part of town, or um, you can get a fault and be sitting there scratching your head and just try, stuck with a really, uh, really problem fault, which is good, it's a great challenge. Um, block training, which is a lot of theory and a lot of prac, and then Telstra provides their field practice, which is where you go out. They put you with an experienced technician, and they teach you the tricks of the trade. They show you what they know, um, what you're meant to do, how you, how you do it, how you keep everything safe as possible, obviously, and you go from there. You just stem from the background that they give you, and they constantly put you with uh, new technicians, I've found and then you learn a more diverse background and you learn from different mentors how to go about different jobs. So at the end of the day, at the end of your nine months, your traineeship, you've probably got four or five different tricks to do the one problem. And um, yeah, it definitely helps, it's great. Within the next two years, I'd like to get my uh, fibre course under my belt, work out in the fibre network. From there, um, probably stick with that for a year or two and then start taking additional uh, courses, become a project manager, get a few guys underneath, underneath me and then look after my own little area, say Chapel Hill or somewhere within Brisbane and upgrade the fibre network in there. We may work in our own truck and have our own vehicle do most of the jobs for ourselves but we are a part of a larger team. It's As a team it's our job to keep the network and the area we live in running perfect and um, you've always if you're ever stuck on a job, you can always call for an assist, get one of the uh, colleagues to come out and help you with jobs. Sometimes you'll be um, doing construction and maintenance, hauling cables and setting up a whole new network somewhere and you need a couple of boys for that. So being a part of a team and a, a, a team player is a big part of it because you look after their turf and they look after yours. And there's always a support, a support network there for you. If you ever have any trouble, you can call upon any of them and they're always there within half an hour. That's great. The best thing about my jobs is learning. I've got as much knowledge as I want at my fingertips. They provide you with a laptop and it's got access to a site called Field Essentials and within that is nearly everything you need to know about what Telstra provides and all their, um, not just their the, the, uh, the, like the telephone and the, the, built, like, uh, the services they provide, but how to do it, how to fix those things and everything like that. It's an absolute wealth of information and you've got as much as there as you want to learn. The best thing about working for Telstra is the customers by far. It's uh, definitely a mixed bag and um, a lot of different type of customers out there and you've got to learn how to deal with them all differently. And um, I, yeah, I enjoy the customer satisfaction part at the end of the day. You have a uh, tough line to build and then at the end of the day it could be for an old lady who wants to talk to her son and at the end of the day you can provide that service for her. I enjoy that. Mm -hmm.